What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. So as a lot of you know, we are running a 50% off sale for Occam's Razor and Leads Machine. And if you're not interested in the sale, that's totally fine. This video is gonna be very value packed in the sense that it's gonna show you the entire layout of the game process. It's gonna show you a high level macro overview and drill down into the micro parts of the various components of my system. Okay, so even if you're not interested in our 50% off promotion, I advise you to watch until the end is you're gonna learn a great deal about how my system works from start to finish okay, in a very short amount of time. This video is going to address also what does Occam's Razor exactly cover and what does Leads Machine exactly cover. Those are the two products that are on 50% off and I made a really good video with a flowchart explaining how the two products differ and how they fit together to explain my whole system. Okay, there's a video from years back but we're going to play it because it does a really good job of illustrating the differences, okay? But as I said again, even if you're not interested in the sale, it's going to demonstrate how my whole game works. And you can find the link to the 50% off in the description and the pinned comment. Okay, so enjoy the video, and I hope this makes a lot more sense about how my system works. So this first section here, this lead acquisition, this is what powers the whole machine, okay? No matter how good your skill is at working these leads, even acquiring them once you go and do night game or day game or tinder game, you have to be running some kind of volume to be putting fuel into the machine. Like there's been periods where I'm not swiping tinder, I'm not going out to the nightclub, I'm not going and doing day game. And even though my game is extremely refined and my skill is really high, I'm not getting closes coming out of that. That's that's during like periods where I'm like really hitting the gym a lot and doing Muay Thai and doing a lot of business work and stuff like that but you have to be putting leads in. The quality of these leads, okay, and remember, a lead is a phone number. The quality of the leads that come out of these three sources, online game, night game, and day game, that's going to depend on how much value and alpha and a whole bunch of other factors that you bring to the table when you are running each of these three sources. All that is discussed in extreme micro detail, in extreme full detail in my product, Occam's Razor. That was my original product, and that is ultimateseductionsystem.com. That's how you get a whole bunch of high quality leads. I've said in a bunch of other videos, I focus pretty exclusively on night game and running the Tinder, Bumble, and some seeking arrangement game. Day game, I will mostly just approach girls that are attractive that I see when I'm out and about doing other stuff. I don't tend to go do like four or five hour sessions at the mall because you end up only getting about one or two quality leads per hour by doing those long, exhausting sessions, and it's fucking weird, I think, as well. I'm not gonna go into all the stuff on how to work that. This video is mainly about the leads machine, but for learning how to acquire the leads, you're gonna wanna check out my product, my product Occam's Razor, at ultimateseductionsystem.com. All right, so now you have a whole bunch of leads here. Now keep in mind, I usually give as a guideline, you should be getting anywhere between five and 15 numbers from a night game session on a Friday or Saturday. I also advocate in other videos, you should be swiping Tinder and Bumble on a daily basis, preferably, for at least 30 minutes, up to at least an hour if you can, okay? And that can be spread throughout the day when you're fucking taking a shit, when you're on public transportation, when you're in a taxi, whatever it may be, when you're walking. Um, the more you are visible and working Tinder and Bumble, uh, the more the CEO put out a statement saying that basically if you use the app more, you'll get more results, okay? So this is the equivalent of going out and doing approaches by doing your swiping, okay? And then of course the, the odd day approach that you hit when you see an attractive girl, that's all gonna factor into your amount of leads. So let's say in a given week you do night game, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, let's say you get seven leads per night on average. Okay, you should be doing more, but let's say you get seven leads per night, that's 21 leads. Let's say with Tinder and Bumble, you get another seven, okay? That brings you to 28, let's say you get a couple day game leads, now you're at 30 leads. If we're gonna talk numbers for a second, Let's say this all happened in a week. If we're going to talk numbers, again, these are just hypothetical examples, but if we're going to talk numbers. If you get two closes in a week, there's 52 weeks in a year, you now have fucked 104 girls in that year. I just recently had 1,000 chicks. I was doing 100 a year for a while. And then as I refined the system and included uh, some key optimizations, where is it? I know it's on here somewhere. Framing dates straight to the house. That was a key tweak. And then from July 17 to July 18, I was able to do 245 new. The point is, you're gonna have these 30 leads that are sitting here, and there's not many videos out there, and, and almost no coaches talking about this, about how to optimally turn these into dates. This is what the Leads Machine product is focused on. It's taking all this hard work you did with your online game, swiping with your night game approaches and your day game approaches, and instead of letting these leads all fall through the cracks and just fucking 
shift off the chart and turn into nothing, which is what's happening to most of you. I'm gonna teach you in this product how to optimize the chances and the probability that they will come down to this part so that you either have a date straight to the house or you'll have a public date, which can be a coffee date, drinks date, dinner date, whatever it may be, whatever your activity of choice is for a date. And I will teach you how to run these dates as well. So I put it here, this is a really, really, really critical point, probably the most critical point of the whole video here. The key to closing large quantities of high quality women is to work your leads properly. That's why I made a whole product about it. Occam's razor was meant to be a permanent and final solution, but as I introspected further and further on what is exactly my secret sauce, I realized there's much, much more I can say about the lead management part. And most of this is just texting, okay? This is kind of like a text game product um, at, the, at the core. It's a collection of flowcharts. Each of these things is a different flowchart in the product, okay? So I'm dealing with what are the app message sequences and all the different control paths that can happen on Tinder, on Bumble, on OkCupid, Plenty of Fish, et cetera, and also on Seeking Arrangement, which is, which is a different beast. That's a sugar daddy dating site that is hot girl DTF leads. Then I go through all the stuff on working your night game leads all the stuff for working your day game leads, how do you confirm your dates, how do you double stack time slots, utilizing floater girls, which is girls that are set for like a whole day or an afternoon or an evening, but you haven't set a specific time yet, and you can rearrange based on how the day unfolds with other dates and other things going on. How do you cancel on the girl? What do you do when she cancels on you? How do you adjust the time slot? How do you frame dates straight to the house so you don't have to do the public dates? so you can increase your chance of closing and save time and money? What do you do when she flakes on you? There's different types of flakes I tell Basically, if she disappears completely, how do you deal with that? If she gives a legitimate excuse, if she gives a bullshit excuse, how do you do with all these things? How do you, this is super important, managing your calendar to set dates, to remind yourself when girls are back in town, to remind yourself to follow up with different girls, to schedule and reschedule all this stuff. And then the whole other big piece of all this, each of these has a whole bunch of nested examples, safety objections, logistics objections, location objections, comfort objections, sex and hookup objections, dealing with non-responses, and other miscellaneous objections. This is like so critical and, and almost never talked about anywhere. It's, it's like it's like so fucking, I don't wanna say frustrating because I, I was able to fill this whole gap that's not being filled, but coming from a guy that's fucked over a thousand girls, this is where it's coming from, this middle section here, okay? I can do like one night out a week in night game and do like a little bit of Tinder swiping and uh, get like 10 leads or whatever, and I can convert a couple of those no problem. Whereas most of you are focused on like, I'm gonna go out five, six nights a week, and I'm gonna try to pull every night. And maybe I'll pull, you know, one, one night out of every two or three weeks or whatever, and then it's like some huge victory. Pulling, which is referred to as taking a girl home directly from the bar or the club, it's extremely overrated. Without going into the, the, the extreme explanation, you're dealing with obstacles, you're dealing with having to move them out of the venue, you're having to deal with cock blocks, you're having to deal with environmental disruptions with, with music and noise and there's alcohol involved and you have to deal with her maybe living far away from the venue or you living far away from the venue. So logistics are fucked and the, the friends are like diehard cock blocking a lot of the time and she maybe has to be up early for work or she has to be to bed right after this or she has people to drive home or whatever. There's just so much shit you have to deal with. And yes, if you do get a pull that bypasses you, if you follow my mouse trail, this bypasses you all the way down to back to your place. You skip this whole lead working part. But on a given night out, you can only pull once, okay? Sometimes you can go back out. There's plenty of nights where I've pulled twice. You can go back out and pull a second time. But most of you, pulling is actually fairly difficult unless you're like very advanced. I, I will just put that out there. Unless you have a pretty advanced understanding or your upper level intermediate, pulling is still difficult and there's no guarantee. I can't guarantee that I'm gonna pull every night out. I can't, if I go out five or six nights, maybe I'll pull two of them, maybe I'll pull three of them. There's so many factors that can get in the way. Whereas, when you collect leads, okay, now I prefer on a, on a night game night out to just get 10 to 15 leads rather than go die hard at this pull, 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 with, as everyone's been inundated with in the community when they're being taught dating and seduction. I'd rather just collect a bunch of high quality leads and then work them down systematically and I should note, a lead generally goes cold within a week, all right? So you need to work it efficiently and effectively. And I give you the exact text that I'm using the, like to this day, right? So this video is being made at the end of 2018. So, and I just did a thousand girls, you're getting the result of over a thousand girls experience 
over 10 years of working literally 10,000 leads, okay? It's like a 1,000 leads a year. It's like ridiculous. I've, I've spent like almost all my time on this over the past decade. And now you're getting the end product of what I've evolved and optimized the system to be, okay? So you, you can just literally plug and play my texts. So like the way this product will work is you take a phone number lead that you have, whether it be from online game, night game, or day game, you take it, you plug it into these flowcharts, an objection comes up from the girl, you deal with it, you go back to the flowchart, you continue forward, you need to rearrange in the calendar, you need to, whatever you need to do, I tell you exactly the sequence to do it. So it's literally completely plug and play. The guy that has the worst skill at working leads in the world will now be leaking, working leads at my level. Say here's me, like the expert at working the leads, whatever skill level you are, advanced, intermediate, newbie, whatever, this is a lot stronger than what most advanced guys are doing. I, I, I'd venture to say what all advanced guys are doing by far, this is a lot stronger because I've even had advanced guys test this, guys that have been with two or 300 girls and they're getting as much as 4X meetup rates. So four times as many girls are meeting up and they're just plug and playing all this. I'm doing all the work for you, all the guesswork is eliminated. There's nothing like there's nothing to figure out or, or, or really do anything. This whole piece is handled for you. Literally, if you get phone numbers from night game and day game and Tinder and online game, I'm, I'm sure most of you watching this do or have at some point, this will handle the whole middle part so that you can just skip from this orange piece to having a date. So ideally, your week should just be set up with a whole bunch of dates, okay, on a given day. Okay, I've got this girl coming straight to the house for wine. I've got this girl for coffee later. Okay, maybe I'm seeing a rotation girl. That's this whole nice piece here. Let me just follow through the rest of the chart so you understand. So you, you have these dates straight to the house where you're splitting a bottle of wine or you're just hanging out at the house. It's very easy to close those. Or you're having a public date, coffee, dinner, drinks, whatever it may be. And then you are taking the girl back to your place from the public date. If it's already set to your house, you're already back at your house. But I have a video in the Leads Machine product that it covers exactly how to close, exactly how I'm closing back at the house from start to finish. That leads to sex, and then from there, depending on your goal, you can continue to fuck more hot women, you can build a rotation or a harem. I usually run six to 12 regulars, no matter which city I'm in. I like to have one or two main girls, which are the hottest ones I have the most chemistry with, and then there's six to 12 kind of side chicks that I'm seeing like once a week on average. I go over all the details about how to run a rotation in my Occam's Razor product, which is ultimateseductionsystem.com. I'm not gonna get into all the details of rotation management in this video, but this is the end goal. You pump some leads into the machine, you follow the exact text, the exact sequences, the exact flow charts that I perfected over 10 years. Okay, so it's a complete done for you system. You follow my video, how to close back of the house, and I even have a video included in this product about how to set the date straight to the house. Literally, if you have these two products, Occam's teaches you how to get these leads most efficiently, how to bring your best self and run these interactions the best so that you can acquire the most leads and that you can make them the most solid as possible. You have all the texts and the, the lead management completely done for you. You just copy the flowcharts. I have a whole set of masterclass modules in both products that go over how to run your public dates. In Lee's Machine, I talk about how to set them straight to the house and then how to close back your house. There's a video on that. And then I have a video on Occam's on how to maintain your rotation. And that's literally the whole system. You don't need anything else. There's hundreds and there, there, there might even be thousands. I, I bet there is thousands of pickup and seduction and game videos out there. Completely unnecessary. I immersed myself in this for 10 years. I know for a fact that almost every coach out there is full of shit. Almost every coach out there has poor skill. They're just like trying to put on a whole facade, right? I backed up all my claims with infield footage. I've been steadily reporting my results since 2012. I put 300 different girls on Instagram before it got shut down, 300 in a row. I have nothing to hide. I fully back up all my stuff. Hopefully from my videos, it's very intuitive and straightforward that this shit actually is the true answer to all this. And I'm going to be really blowing this up in 2019 to get this in front of tons of people because this is the whole system here. This What you're seeing in this chart, and nobody talks about this, is the whole system, okay? And every piece is handled for you between these two products. But the reason why I created this product here is most of your guys' leads are slipping through the cracks at this stage. Ask yourself right now, when, as you're watching this, do you give phone numbers regularly? The answer is probably yes. If not, you should be going out and doing more night game or you should be using Tinder more. And if you're not getting matches on Tinder, you should be getting professional pictures. I talk about that 
in both products as well about how to optimize your profile pictures and your profile so that you get the most matches from the online game platforms. And I also have a whole special section I want to mention also for online game in the Leads Machine product on Seeking Arrangement because a bunch of people are asking about that. So I go through my exact Seeking Arrangement sequences. There's a whole special flowchart for that. And I have a whole special flowchart for Seeking Arrangement specific objections because these general objections apply with Seeking Arrangement as well, but there's also a whole set of specific objections that are only for seeking arrangement and that's a whole separate flowchart as well so that's another bonus thing included with this but it's back to my point a lot of you guys that are getting phone numbers you're not working them properly you, you don't know what to text and there's a lot of subtle nuances that go into all these things that i had to figure out over 10 years with relentless testing and optimization and evolution and just texting whatever the fuck you want or what you watched on some rst video or or whatever is not going to cut it it's the same with trying to run a night game interaction however you want there's so many subtle nuances that go into it and so many important things and I cover all those in extreme detail, as concise as possible. The reason why I named this Occam's Razor is because I make it as simple as possible but no simpler. And that's been my philosophy the whole way through. Same thing with the Leeds Machine. You're getting the bare bones, down and dirty. Here's the text I am using to this day. Okay, like I just created these charts in the past couple months. Here's these texts that I'm using as of 2019. Okay, here's the result of a guy that has 10,000 leads and 1,000 closes. You're getting my exact text, my exact sequences, my exact blueprint so that you can turn a phone number into a date. And when you stack up a bunch of dates in a week, that's going to lead to closes. And then that's going to lead to sex, or that's a close. And then that's going to lead to a rotation. Or you can just pick one of those hot, cool girls and just make her your girlfriend. Done, right? Like some of you, I have clients that are doctors, that are entrepreneurs, that they work around the clock and they just want like a hot, sexy girlfriend, right? That's cool. You follow this, you'll have it, right? And you can build a rotation using this machine here. You can build a rotation within two to three weeks of probably three to five girls. I can land in a new city and a month later, I'll usually have between five and 10 rotation girls. It's, and all I'm doing is pumping leads in here, following all these charts. I have them in my head, but you guys will be following them. And another thing too, guys that have been beta testing these charts, They've been having to consult the flowcharts explicitly to do their exact texting. And as they've used it and used it and used it and used it, they're starting to starting to become more automatic and they're starting to remember these things. You can also create macros on your phone. So you can type like T1, like Tinder 1, it'll be like your opener. T2, it's the next thing you see on Tinder after she replies, etc. I don't use macros, I just use autocompletes because my phone remembers. I'm just using the same fucking text over and over so it remembers. As I start to type it, it autocompletes the whole thing. This is it, there's nothing more. I don't wanna make this a long video. I'm really, really excited about this. It's really, really, really cool. I, I just made all the videos explaining all these flow charts and it's, it's just like really fucking beautiful looking at the game in this way. And th this is the same as sales. You're acquiring a lead, you're scheduling it, you're closing it out, okay? And you're doing it within that one week time frame before the lead, the lead goes cold. You're working it to the bone and you just keep putting new leads in the machine. Like right now in the current city that I'm living in, I have 16 girls on rotation and I'm still doing Tinder swiping I'm still going out the occasional night here and there, and I still have leads I'm working with new hot chicks that can bump out pre-existing rotation girls that I don't find as hot anymore, that I'm bored of banging or their personalities become predictable. For whatever reason, this new chick is better and I wanna switch her out for one of the ones that's in there. Or you can make it even bigger, 17 or 18, whatever. But the cool thing is, as you continue to pump stuff into this machine, you're gonna continuously have sex with new hot girls on a regular basis. And then whatever your goal is, it can become actualized. Whether that is sleeping with a lot of hot girls, having better consistency, getting your dream girlfriend, building your dream harem. This is the fucking key here. This leads management, that, this is the fucking key, okay? We can all go out and do approaches if we want, okay? And, and we have somewhat of a relative idea about what to do back to the place. I go in full detail in this video, in this product, but this middle piece is where a lot of you are losing those leads. In my example earlier on the video, and then I'll, I'll wrap this video up. My example earlier on, if I had 30 leads in a week, I only need to close two. Most guys aren't closing two. I, I barely know anyone closing 100 girls a year. I come to think of it, I, I might not know anyone closing 100 girls a year. The next best guys I know after myself have been with between two and 300 girls, and that wasn't done in a two or three year time frame. That's like their whole dating career. And this isn't just about racking numbers. But the point is, no one has optimized things and made them as efficient as I have to this degree, 
okay, and what, what this product is doing. So those 30 leads are usually falling through the cracks. You only need to close two of them to get your 100 for the year, two. Like I said, I'm closing 10%, which is, most coaches won't admit this. Most coaches are going to say, oh, you can close any girl. Or like, you should be closing most girls and like girls don't flake. I'm extremely realistic and no bullshit. Even in the product, I say flakes are going to happen. Maybe even on a daily basis. They even happen to the top guys. Girls are going to ignore on a daily basis, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What do you do when she flakes you? What do you do when she cancels on you? What do you do when she's not replying to you? These are very real things that happen on a regular basis, okay? In my Occam's product, I talk about, you're gonna get a bunch of rejections. Even after fucking a thousand girls, I can still go to the nightclub and get rejections. That's part of the game. So that 10% close rate in that example with 30 girls, on average, I would close three of those. It seems like a low figure or whatever, but do the math, okay? Three girls in a week times 52, that's 150 in a year, okay? That, that's the kind of numbers I'm hitting. If you're not doing all these things optimally and putting them through, you're not gonna close any of those 30 girls. Or you're gonna get the occasional fat girl that comes once a month or every other month and, and you're gonna be just burning all your time swiping Tinder and patrolling the malls with day game and, and patrolling the clubs all week and it's not gonna pay off. I'm trying to give you a return on your game investment with this product. So all the time that you put into all this game stuff up here allows you to get them onto meets, okay? Get them to get meetups. So this, this stuff is all done for you. So you're moving from the leads phase to the dates phase seamlessly in an optimized and expert manner. Okay, so I hope that was useful for you. And now you understand the differences between Occam's Razor and Leads Machine and how they fit together to make my whole system. If you wanna take advantage of our 50% off sale, go to the link in the description or the pinned comment, and that is going to expire very soon, okay, in the next day or two. So make sure you get on that. So if you're interested in taking it to the next level and incorporating 64 hours of coaching call time with me, Josh, and Connor, who have over 3,000 lay count between the three coaches, okay, you can book a free 30 minute call and potentially join the eight week program. Okay, thank you guys so much. Please watch my video on the end screen. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. Ask all your questions about how the process works and any other questions you may have. Okay, thank you guys and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. Take a look at the scores, I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.